Good morning, guys. Welcome to a week in my life. So, as you guys can see, I am running late. It's 8.55. Class starts at 9.30. School is about 20 minutes out. I'm not, like, really late. Like, technically, I'm going to make it on time. However, considering parking, considering which campus I'm going to today, parking is about to be crazy. Also, your girl is running out of gas. I was supposed to get gas yesterday, but it totally like crossed my mind. And then when I came back from the dinner party, I was supposed to get gas, but it's nighttime. I don't like to get gas at night, especially when I'm by myself. Like I don't like to get gas at night by myself at all. I definitely want to have somebody with me because gas stations are just like super weird. So right now let's pray I get to school. I think I should get to school though. Like seriously, I should really get to school. I feel like this would address like um, my time management. You guys would see like how I balance school and work because I actually got that request for a video. How do I manage going to school and going to work at the same time? Like, I thought what better way than to show you. Like I'd rather show you than sit down like in front of my desk. Like at my desk in front of a camera and just like talk and tell you guys how to manage your time versus if you see me do it it's different you see how i apply it so the agenda for today I, i'm gonna always start the day out like this like when i get in the car i'm gonna always tell y'all what we're doing today so today i have school i only have one class thank god but i need to go to the um to the store i need to pick up some laundry detergent I also need to get some dog food. My friend ran out of food. I'm gonna get some more bottled waters. All right guys, what's up? Quick update it is about 4 30 it's 4 21 to be exact and the last time i spoke to you guys i was actually going to um walmart and to get gas as you guys can see i'm in the bed i did everything i got um gas and i went to walmart to get dog food and stuff like that and laundry detergent and water right now i am studying biology well i just finished studying biology i was studying for about two hours i was studying biology and now i'm actually about to start on my literature homework that is due tomorrow so like i was telling you guys earlier the best way for me to show you guys how i manage school and work although i did not go to work today let me show you guys something this is my life okay this agenda has my life in it and a lot of times people laugh at me when I say like I leave my agenda at home by accident and I feel lost and I feel lost because everything that I need to do is in here you guys washing clothes is in here my agenda literally keeps me on track and I don't know what I would do without it so that is my answer to everyone's question. Time management is your best friend. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another day. It is Tuesday, January 29th. Sorry, I was looking at my radio. I gotta remember what day it is. So, the agenda today, I have class at 11. It's 10.01. It takes me about 20 minutes to get to school. I have a microbiology test at 11, and then right after, I have a literature quiz. Um, It is Tuesday, so I do have to go to work, so you guys will see me go to work today i'm not excited about going to work but hey i gotta make my money but yeah i'm all bundled up because y'all it's 59 degrees today honey it was cold yesterday too like mm -mm. and i wasn't i wasn't ooh, i wasn't prepared yesterday but i'm prepared today got my little trench coat on and my little scarf by the way my trench coat is from forever 21 my phone is falling my trench coat is from Forever 21. My scarf is from Charlotte Ruth. Jeans from Hollister. And I have on Ugg, like, slippers, kind of. 
they're still like a boots with their slippers like they have the fur and stuff inside <laughs> Why you got so many pants on? Oh. I gotta do what I gotta do. What five dollars a piece? My professor isn't here. Literally, literally me last night. I don't know. I wonder if you're gonna. All right, guys. So I just finished my microbiology test. I really don't know how I did. I don't know. My gut is telling me I did bad, but I'll know by the end of the day. He said he's gonna upload grades. Um, by the end of the day so i would definitely let you guys know how i did but in the meantime i'm about to go to start studying for my literature quiz that i have so that's what i'm doing now guys so class is over um y'all tell me why we got into literature class right and she like she was like i left the quiz at home but yeah so i didn't have a quiz in literature so yeah i'm finished with classes for today i'm about to go home it's about two o'clock i don't go to work until four so i'm about to just go home i need to work on um an assignment that's due tomorrow for speech it's actually a flip grip response. It's a, we record a video of ourselves talking about um, how we feel about the chapters that we just completed. So I need to go ahead and do that video. Well, at least prep for it, get my little notes together so I can go ahead and get a good grade. Um, I'm still waiting on my lab test results. And I, of course, I will tell you guys when I get those exactly what I got on it I don't know I, I think I did bad but at the same time I always feel like I do bad and I end up doing okay so I'll take a B of course I'm aiming for an A however I will take a B C's are not allowed I will talk to you guys when I get home I'm starving so I'm just wait till I get home so I'm gonna see y'all in a bit what's up guys it is 9 37 and I'm just now getting off of work um, I came in at four, so I was here for five hours. Not a long shift, but same old, same old, y'all. It can be tiring. It's very draining dealing with older people. Let me tell y'all that right now. It's very draining. But today, my manager was not here. In the days that my manager is not here, I look after everybody. So that was me tonight, and that's kind of why I'm getting out so late because I have to pretty much be the last person out make sure everyone did their job and then make sure everyone gets out on time stuff like that but I'm about to go home and finish my notes for my communications video and then start studying for the heads not really studying but like refreshing my brain because you guys my nursing test is tomorrow my nurse my nursing entrance exam is tomorrow at 8 35 and I have to be out on time I have to be to the test on time I have to make sure I have my ID my receipt showing that I paid for it and I have to have my login information actually get your results as soon as you are finished so that's one good thing I will be able to tell you guys how I did as soon as possible like as soon as I get in the car so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here and I will talk to you guys in the morning I know I have not picked up the camera literally all day and if been watching then you know that today was my nursing school entrance exam i had that exam today at 8 35 this morning and that was on one of the campuses which was up north and then i had pharmacology class at another campus which is down south so after my exam this morning i had to drive down south to the campus I'm leaving now for my pharmacology class that I just got out of and yeah so let me tell you how the exam went first of all let me just say I guess y'all can probably tell from like the way I'm speaking 
Your girl passed. I passed my nursing entrance exam test and you had to get an 80 to get in. I will not get in, but you had to get an 80 to pass and you also had to get an 80 on the math portion itself. So let me just say I'm super happy that I passed. Like now I can actually get in the pool and I can actually put in my application but I'm still going to retake the exam to get a higher score. Don't get me wrong, I'm super excited I passed it. However, now I know what the test is like. I know what to expect the next time I go in because I'm definitely taking the test again. As far as the rest of my day, I'm about to go home and do homework. By the time I get finished, Kadeem will be off of work and I will get to see my baby tonight because I did not see him yesterday because y'all, my nerves were so bad and then I was sunk with homework. Like I had stuff that was due last night and then i had my test this morning so i was like like i said i was trying to put like refresh my brain but i don't know if i told y'all also my biology exam that i had on what was it i think it was tuesday y'all i ended up getting a 102 the one that i was like super nervous about i got 102 on that so <gasps> we is passing honey don't mind my head i need to take this poor bun out but y'all Yes, I'm having a good day. So, I'm a, honestly, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. See y'all tomorrow. That This is literally how my day go. I'm just strictly school and I'm off of work today. So, yeah, I'm going to just speak to y'all either tonight or tomorrow. So, what is up, you guys? It is Thursday, January the 31st. And as you can see, I'm actually just getting out of class and i have to head to work it's 3 53 and i was supposed to be to work at 4 but i text my manager and i told her that like i get out of class at 3 45 there's no way i'm ever gonna make um make it to work at 4 like ever she's new so like i know she doesn't really understand my schedule but like my old manager used to schedule schedule me later on days that i get out of class later of course so I do have my work clothes with me. They're in the back, and then I'm just gonna change when I get to work. It is super nasty out today. Um, I have on my rain gear, y'all. I got on my little rain jacket. So, y'all, let me tell y'all about my phone. So, I um, had T Mobile, and I ended up switching my carrier. So, I no longer have T Mobile. I ended up switching to another company. So, when I had T Mobile, of course, I used to pay for my phone bill, and I used to also pay for the phone. So, when I switched over to a new company, my phone was not fully paid for. So, what T Mobile did, my phone was working good with the new company for about a week. I woke up yesterday, and literally, my phone said no service. Like, it said no service for the past two days. So what they did was they pretty much block listed my phone. So like I guess since it's not paid off, they went ahead and put it in the system like Shorty got our phone and it's not paid. So they pretty much cut it off even with the new company. So I called them today and they gave me the remaining balance. The remaining balance I think for the phone itself is $420 and plus um, my last bill. My last bill was $125. So I have to go to the bank now. I gotta go tomorrow because I gotta go to work today. So tomorrow is Friday. I'll go to the bank in the morning. I'll handle all of this before I go to work tomorrow. I have to go to the bank and get freaking pretty much $550 and call T-Mobile and pay them their money so they can unlock my freaking phone. Like, ain't nobody got time for this. Y'all, that's really it for today. I had class this morning. That's what's going on with me as far as my phone. That's pretty much like what's going on, like conflicts with me right now. Other than that, it's a normal, normal day. I had class. Um, I had microbiology lecture. I had literature, and I had lab class today. They all went well or whatever. But yeah, I'm about to go to work. I need to focus on this freaking rain because this is ridiculous. Like, it's ridiculous. But I will talk to you guys tomorrow. So good morning guys, as you can see, I am leaving the bank. I told you guys about my whole phone situation. Um, so like I said, I'm handling it before I go to work because 
yeah, I'm not going to be able to withdraw like over $300 from a tailor, so I have to go while they're open. So that's why I had to come this morning. Um, for work, I got um, some homework. I have some pharmacology flashcards in my little Ziploc baggie. And I also have my pencil pouch because I need to like color code my flashcards. So that's what I'm gonna be doing at work. Remembering the name to medications and like trying to put the adverse effects with it and the contraindications and the reason why you're doing it and what it does to the body, it's low key. I'm not gonna say it's hard, but it's hard to remember. Like you have to literally study this. There's no way around it. So yeah, that's why I pretty much need the whole weekend to focus on pharmacology. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get to Kadeem's house to get this left because as y'all can see, it's nasty out and I'm supposed to be clocking in like super soon. And I'm not even on my way to work yet. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I just Hello. met her, guys. She's so cute. I just met her. And you know me for a while. Yeah, unfortunately, I know her. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, she's new. <laughs> I got salmon. You don't have good salmon, probably. You're. Chicken and waffles. <laughs> I mean, you can just use waffles. You can just do it on the video. No, you can do a Snapchat. Like, okay. a, like a picture. Yeah.